Doll Parts is a little short film that I did um, in the fall of, I guess, 2010 when I finished my feature film, which was Stained. And uh, it's the story of a serial killer who is um, picking up girls along the highway, and uh, in this case, he's picked up the wrong girl. Living in Vancouver, you know, just women go missing on a regular basis, and um, we've got a highway of tears. You know, it's unsolved 18 women in, in a course of 15 years or more. Um, just, it, they've never been found, and I, I, I think a lot of that has, you know, seeps into my work, I'm, I'm quite sure, so. Hey, you want a ride? Horror films are my, my love. I, I have to say that I unashamedly a horror director, and that's that's it. If I if if there's no blood, I'm not really all that interested. <laughs> For me, I love creating tension. I love playing around with um, victimhood and, and gender power. So I, I think I, I consider myself a feminist horror filmmaker because a lot of the things that I want to talk about I can't really do in another medium. So it's, it's a, a place to explore the darkest bits of your soul. Festivals are really important because it's often, especially for a short film, it's the only chance that you get to uh, develop audience. You get to try out different techniques, different storytelling ways, you know, new equipment, whatever it is, you put it in front of an audience and they respond and it's, it's a nice way of actually getting out there and, and uh, basically telling your stories to the rest of the world. When you go in and talk to your financiers, you're talking to your distributors, letting them know that you've gotten into a certain number of festivals or that you've gotten awards from festivals or that people are responding to what you've done. You know, a, a lot of times, at least through the horror festivals, there's a lot of blogging that happens afterwards, so people will review your short films or review what you've done. That goes a long way to selling your, your projects. In some ways, I see it as another way of, of releasing theatrically, but in, in smaller ways than, than that. Doll Parts has been invited to over 30 festivals now, and so it's been really nice to actually have that. It's been pretty well on every continent, and, and uh, just getting that feedback. I've, I've met so many filmmakers through that process, and I think that's really, really important too. Touch that. Don't, don't touch anything. My partner and I started Curio Media, and we focus on women filmmakers in horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. So that is something that we're looking for. It's it's not just my career. It's you know basically female filmmakers around the world. If I can help them, horror, sci-fi, fantasy. That's been a very very male dominated uh, area, and people keep saying, well, it's you know it's a commercial area, and you know there's just not that many women. But I know that a lot of women are interested in doing it. Um, it's just a matter of getting the resources and getting mentorship for them and, you know, basically specifically saying this is what we're looking for and this is what we're going to promote. In the past, horror has been seen as, you know, that's the same story where young women are butchered and, you know, you have that sort of thing. There's a misconception that that's what horror actually is, whereas I think of it as being a fantastic place to tell stories, period. It doesn't necessarily... Um, it, it shouldn't only be that same story over and over again. And I, I do think that the horror fans and the horror community is really excited about having other voices in there. Women who direct other women in horror, which I find really interesting, is that we tend to not make each other scream. Uh, the, the whole scream queen idea is actually, I think, a very male sense. I, I was, um, you know, we've, I've been working with the Viscera Film Festival, and uh, we have a touring film uh, you know, a, a group of 16 horror films, all, all directed by women that are horror. And it, what's in, really interesting is the lack of women screaming on, online. We, we look, there's some themes that we really deal with, which are things like your own body horror, um, you know, gender, just basically turning the tables, that type of horror, you know. And uh, how we tell our stories is a little bit different. I think there's a lot more character development, the suspense. It's, it's a little bit like old time horror to me of what genre was really supposed to be, which was, you know, old Hitchcock and Polanski and that sort of thing with the flashlight under your chin and trying to scare each other and, and, and that. And so I think that that's what I'd be excited to see in, in, in more women directing horror is that the stories are a little bit different and, and uh, you know, it's, it's facing our own fears. I guess with Doll Parts it is, uh, it's interesting because I, I don't consider myself necessarily an Asian filmmaker and yet, um, a lot of my 
coverage, how I direct, how I shoot, is actually very close to what I see in Asian horror. And so it's very interesting. Um, Doll Parts and uh, the feature film um, for Doll Parts has just been invited to the, um, it's the Network of Asian Fantastic Filmmakers, and that's in Korea every year. And uh, I'm one of 18 projects that gets showcased. And it's interesting, I'm the only woman. I'm the only woman from North America. And so in, in some ways, it's, it's, it's exciting to be breaking some new ground there as well, because you know it's not, it, uh, I think of genres being very worldwide. And uh, I'm, I'm a huge Asian horror fan. And it's, it's just fantastic to be considered in, even in that ballpark is, is cool for me.